Romanesque architecture is an architectural style of medieval Europe characterized by semicircular arches. There is no consensus for the beginning date of the Romanesque style, with proposals ranging from the 6th to the late 10th century, this later date being the most commonly held. It developed in the 12th century into the Gothic style, marked by pointed arches. Examples of Romanesque architecture can be found across the continent, making it the first pan-European architectural style since Imperial Roman architecture. The Romanesque style in England is traditionally referred to as Norman architecture, combining features of ancient Roman and Byzantine buildings and other local traditions. Romanesque architecture is known by its massive quality. Thick walls, round arches, sturdy pillars, groin vaults, large towers and decorative arcading. Each building has clearly defined forms, frequently a very regular, symmetrical plan. The overall appearance is one of simplicity when compared with the Gothic buildings that were to follow. The style can be identified right across Europe, despite regional characteristics and different materials. Many castles were built during this period, but they are greatly outnumbered by churches. The most significant are the Great Abbey churches, many of which are still standing, more or less complete and frequently in use. The enormous quantity of churches built in the Romanesque period was succeeded by the still busier period of Gothic architecture, which partly or entirely rebuilt most Romanesque churches in prosperous areas like England and Portugal. The largest groups of Romanesque survivors are in areas that were less prosperous in subsequent periods, including parts of southern France, northern Spain and rural Italy. Survivals of unfortified Romanesque secular houses and palaces and the domestic quarters of monasteries are far rarer, but these used and adapted the features found in church buildings on a domestic scale. Definition According to the Oxford English Dictionary, the word Romanesque means descended from Roman and was first used in English to designate what are now called Romance languages. The French term Romaine was first used in the architectural sense by archaeologist Charles de Javille in a letter of the 18th of December 1818 to August Le Prévost to describe what Javille sees as a debased Roman architecture. In 1824, Javille's friend Arcisse de Cormont adopted the label Roman to describe the degraded European architecture from the 5th to the 13th centuries. In his essay Sur l'architecture religieuse du Moyen-Age, particularment en Normandie, at a time when the actual dates of many of the buildings so described had not been ascertained, the name Roman we give to this architecture, which should be universal as it is the same everywhere with slight local differences, also has the merit of indicating its origin and is not new since it is used already to describe the language of the same period. Romance language is degenerated Latin language. Romanesque architecture is debased Roman architecture. The first use in a published work is in William Gunn's An Inquiry into the Origin and Influence of Gothic Architecture. The word was used by Gunn to describe the style that was identifiably medieval and prefigured the Gothic yet maintained the rounded Roman arch and thus appeared to be a continuation of the Roman tradition of building. The term is now used for the more restricted period from the late 10th to 12th centuries. The term pre-Romanesque is sometimes applied to architecture in Germany of the Carolingian and Ottonian periods and Visigothic, Mozarab and Asturian constructions between the 8th and the 10th centuries in the Iberian Peninsula while first Romanesque is applied to buildings in north of Italy and Spain and parts of France that have Romanesque features but predate the influence of the Abbey of Cluny. Typical Romanesque architectural forms, Portal, Church of Santa Maria, Viu de la Veta, Catalonia, Spain, Apse of the Monastery of Rates, Portugal, The Vault at the Abbey Church of St. Foy, Conques, France, Cloister of the Basilica di San Giovanni in Laterano, Rome, Bell Tower of Angoulême Cathedral, Chironte, SW France, Window and Lombard Band of the Rotunda of Santome, Almeno San Bartolomeo, 
scope. Buildings of every type were constructed in the Romanesque style, with evidence remaining of simple domestic buildings, elegant town houses, grand palaces, commercial premises, civic buildings, castles, city walls, bridges, village churches, abbey churches, abbey complexes and large cathedrals. Of these types of buildings, domestic and commercial buildings are the most rare, with only a handful of survivors in the United Kingdom. Several clusters in France, isolated buildings across Europe and by far the largest number, often unidentified and altered over the centuries. In Italy, many castles exist, the foundations of which date from the Romanesque period. Most have been substantially altered, and many are in ruins. By far the greatest number of surviving Romanesque buildings are churches. These range from tiny chapels to large cathedrals, and although many have been extended and altered in different styles, a large number remain either substantially intact or sympathetically restored, demonstrating the form, character and decoration of Romanesque church architecture. The scope of Romanesque architecture St. Nicholas Rotunda in Siestin, Poland Romanesque House in Porich, Croatia Municipal House in Braganca, Portugal The Civic Hall in Massa Maritima, Italy Abbey Church of St. James, Lebanese, Hungary The Keep of Connorsborough Castle, England History Origins Romanesque architecture was the first distinctive style to spread across Europe since the Roman Empire. With the decline of Rome, Roman building methods survived to an extent in Western Europe, where successive Merovingian, Carolingian and Ottonian architects continued to build large stone buildings such as monastery churches and palaces. In the more northern countries Roman building styles and techniques had never been adopted except for official buildings, while in Scandinavia they were unknown. Although the round arch continued in use, the engineering skills required to vault large spaces and build large domes were lost. There was a loss of stylistic continuity, particularly apparent in the decline of the formal vocabulary of the classical orders. In Rome several great Constantinian basilicas continued in use as an inspiration to later builders. Some traditions of Roman architecture also survived in Byzantine architecture with the 6th century octagonal Byzantine Basilica of San Vitale in Ravenna being the inspiration for the greatest building of the Dark Ages in Europe. The Emperor Charlemagne's Palatine Chapel, Aachen, Germany, built around the year AD 800, dating shortly after the Palatine Chapel is a remarkable 9th-century Swiss manuscript known as the Plan of St. Gaul and showing a very detailed plan of the monastic complex, with all its various monastic buildings and their functions labelled. The largest building is the church, the plan of which is distinctly Germanic, having an apse at both ends, an arrangement not generally seen elsewhere. Another feature of the church is its regular proportion, the square plan of the crossing tower providing a module for the rest of the plan. These features can both be seen at the Proto-Romanesque Street, Michael's Church, Hildesheim, 1001 to 1030. Architecture of a Romanesque style all also developed simultaneously in the north of Italy, parts of France and in the Iberian Peninsula in the 10th century and prior to the later influence of the Abbey of Cluny. The style, sometimes called First Romanesque or Lombard Romanesque, is characterized by thick walls, lack of sculpture and the presence of rhythmic ornamental arches known as a Lombard band. Origins Santa Maria del Naranco, Oviedo, Spain, built as a palace for Ramiro I of Asturias, apse of Castro de Ravelas Monastery, Portugal, a mix of Mozarabic and Asturian Leonese style. Santa Maria in Cosmedine, Rome has a basilical plan and reuses ancient Roman columns. Charlemagne's Palatine Chapel, Aachen, 9th century, modelled on the Byzantine Church of San Vitale, Ravenna, interior of St. Michael's, Hildesheim, with alternating piers and columns and a 13th century painted wooden ceiling, 
St. Michael's Church, Hildesheim has similar characteristics to the church in the plan of St. Gaul. Politics Charlemagne was crowned by the Pope in Old Street, Peter's Basilica on Christmas Day in the year 800 with an aim to re-establishing the old Roman Empire. Charlemagne's political successes continued to rule much of Europe with a gradual emergence of the separate political states that were eventually to become welded into nations, either by allegiance or defeat, the Kingdom of Germany giving rise to the Holy Roman Empire, the invasion of England by William, Duke of Normandy, in 1066, saw the building of both castles and churches that reinforced the Norman presence. Several significant churches that were built at this time were founded by rulers as seats of temporal and religious power, or places of coronation and burial. These include the Abbey St. Denis, Spire Cathedral and Westminster Abbey. At a time when the remaining architectural structures of the Roman Empire were falling into decay and much of its learning and technology lost, the building of masonry domes and the carving of decorative architectural details continued unabated, though greatly evolved in style since the fall of Rome. In the enduring Byzantine Empire, the domed churches of Constantinople and Eastern Europe were to greatly affect the architecture of certain towns, particularly through trade and through the Crusades. The most notable single building that demonstrates this is St. Mark's Basilica, Venice, but there are many lesser known examples, particularly in France, such as the Church of St. Front, Perigueux and Angoulême Cathedral. Much of Europe was affected by feudalism in which peasants held tenure from local rulers over the land that they farmed in exchange for military service. The result of this was that they could be called upon, not only for local and regional spats, but to follow their lord to travel across Europe to the Crusades, if they were required to do so. The Crusades, 1095 to 1270, brought about a very large movement of people and, with them, ideas and trade skills particularly those involved in the building of fortifications and the metalworking needed for the provision of arms, which was also applied to the fitting and decoration of buildings. The continual movement of people, rulers, nobles, bishops, abbots, craftsmen and peasants, was an important factor in creating a homogeneity in building methods and a recognizable Romanesque style, despite regional differences. Life became generally less secure after the Carolingian period. This resulted in the building of castles at strategic points, many of them being constructed as strongholds of the Normans, descendants of the Vikings who invaded northern France under Rollo in 911. Political struggles also resulted in the fortification of many towns, or the rebuilding and strengthening of walls that remained from the Roman period. One of the most notable surviving fortifications is that of the city of Carcassonne. The enclosure of towns brought about a lack of living space within the walls, and resulted in a style of townhouse that was tall and narrow, often surrounding communal courtyards, as at San Gimignano in Tuscany. In Germany, the Holy Roman Emperors built a number of residences, fortified, but essentially palaces rather than castles, at strategic points and on trade routes. The Imperial Palace of Goslar was built in the early 11th century by Otto III and Henry III, while the ruined palace at Jelnhausen was received by Frederick Barbarossa prior to 1170. The movement of people and armies also brought about the building of bridges, some of which have survived, including the 12th century bridge at Bisilu, Catalonia, the 11th century Puente de la Reina, Navarre and the Pont Saint Benese, Avignon. Politics The Tower of London William the Conqueror built the central White Tower as his stronghold and residence. Spire Cathedral, begun by Conrad II, Holy Roman Emperor in 1030, as an expression of imperial power and architectural innovation. Castello de Venere, Eris, is one of many built by the Normans in Sicily, Italy. Many towns, such as San Gimignano, were enclosed with walls, causing crowding and the building of tower houses. 
Religion across Europe, the late 11th and 12th centuries saw an unprecedented growth in the number of churches. A great number of these buildings, both large and small, remain, some almost intact and in others altered almost beyond recognition in later centuries. They include many very well-known churches such as Santa Maria in Cosmodine in Rome, the Baptistery in Florence and San Zeno Maggiore in Verona. In France, the famous abbeys of Odames and Les Omicon and Mont Saint Michel date from this period, as well as the abbeys of the pilgrimage route to Santiago de Compostela. Many cathedrals owe their foundation to this date, with others beginning as abbey churches, and later becoming cathedrals. In England, of the cathedrals of ancient foundation, all were begun in this period with the exception of Salisbury, where the monks relocated from the Norman church at Old Sarum, and several, such as Canterbury, which were rebuilt on the site of Saxon churches. In Spain, the most famous church of the period is Santiago de Compostela. In Germany, the Rhine and its tributaries were the location of many Romanesque abbeys, notably Mainz, Worms, Spire and Bamberg. In Cologne, then the largest city north of the Alps, a very important group of large city churches survives largely intact. As monasticism spread across Europe, Romanesque churches sprang up in Scotland, Scandinavia, Poland, Hungary, Sicily, Serbia and Tunisia. Several important Romanesque churches were built in the Crusader kingdoms. Monasticism The system of monasticism in which the religious become members of an order, with common ties and a common rule, living in a mutually dependent community, rather than as a group of hermits living in proximity but essentially separate, was established by the monk Benedict in the 6th century. The Benedictine monasteries spread from Italy throughout Europe, being always by far the most numerous in England. They were followed by the Cluniac Order, the Cistercians, Carthusians and Augustinian canons. During the Crusades, the military orders of the Knights Hospitaller and the Knights Templar were founded. The monasteries, which sometimes also functioned as cathedrals, and the cathedrals that had bodies of secular clergy often living in community, were a major source of power in Europe. Bishops and the abbots of important monasteries lived and functioned like princes. The monasteries were the major seats of learning of all sorts. Benedict had ordered that all the arts were to be taught and practiced in the monasteries. Within the monasteries books were transcribed by hand, and few people outside the monasteries could read or write. In France, Burgundy was the center of monasticism. The enormous and powerful monastery at Cluny was to have lasting effect on the layout of other monasteries and the design of their churches. Unfortunately, very little of the abbey church at Cluny remains. The Cluny II rebuilding of 963 onwards has completely vanished, but we have a good idea of the design of Cluny III from 1088 to 1130, which until the Renaissance remained the largest building in Europe. However, the Church of St. Senin at Toulouse, 1080-1120, has remained intact and demonstrates the regularity of Romanesque design with its modular form, its massive appearance and the repetition of the simple arched window motif. Types of churches Many parish churches across Europe, such as this in Vesterslidre, Norway, are of Romanesque foundation. The Romanesque St. Ancabi Church and surrounding monastic buildings, Gordes, Provence, France, collegiate churches such as that of St. Hadelin, Sella, Belgium, were administered by lay canons. Benedictine Rural Monastery of Travanca, Portugal, built in early 12th century with its distinctive defense tower. Many cathedrals such as Trier Cathedral, Germany, date from this period, with many later additions. Pilgrimage and Crusade One of the effects of the Crusades, which were intended to wrest the holy places of Palestine from Islamic control, was to excite a great deal of religious fervor, which in turn inspired great building programs. 
the nobility of Europe, upon safe return, thanked God by the building of a new church or the enhancement of an old one. Likewise, those who did not return from the Crusades could be suitably commemorated by their family in a work of stone and mortar. The Crusades resulted in the transfer of, among other things, a great number of holy relics of saints and apostles. Many churches, like Saint Front, Perigueux, had their own homegrown saint while others, most notably Santiago de Compostela, claimed the remains and the patronage of a powerful saint, in this case one of the Twelve Apostles. Santiago de Compostela, located near Galicia became one of the most important pilgrimage destinations in Europe. Most of the pilgrims traveled the way of Saint James on foot, many of them barefooted as a sign of penance. They moved along one of the four main routes that passed through France, congregating for the journey at Jumiges, Paris, Vézelay, Cluny, Arles and Saint Gaul in Switzerland. They crossed two passes in the Pyrenees and converged into a single stream to traverse northwestern Spain. Along the route they were urged on by those pilgrims returning from the journey. On each of the routes abbeys such as those at Moisic, Toulouse, Roncesvalles, Conques, Limoges and Burgos catered for the flow of people and grew wealthy from the passing trade. Saint Benoit d'Ussu, in the Berry province, is typical of the churches that were founded on the pilgrim route, pilgrimage and crusade. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre, Jerusalem, a major pilgrimage site from the 4th century onwards, its rotunda inspired the construction of many Romanesque circular churches. Like many castles built by Crusader knights, the inner fortress of Cracdes Chevaliers, Syria, was mainly constructed in this period, with the outer walls being later. The famous round church of the Convent of Christ in Tomar, Portugal, was the headquarters of the Knights Templar in the Iberian Peninsula and like some other Templar churches throughout Europe, was modelled after the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem. The Abbey of Saint Foy, Conques, France, was one of many such abbeys to be built along the pilgrimage way of Saint James that led to Santiago de Compostela. The plan of the Church of Saint Front, Perigueux, France, was influenced by Byzantine architecture seen by the Crusaders. The present appearance is largely due to Restorer Paul Abadie, mid-19th century.